Hello to you and a very warm welcome to Spirit. It's so great to be with you. Now, two of some of my favorite sayings are, number one, to thine own self be true. And number two, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I think my next guest embodies those quotes perfectly. So, Kakiso Mrubi is not only an actor, a musician, a radio presenter, an author, but he's a whole lot more. I don't know where you get the time and the energy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having so me. tell me a little bit about that. I mean, for you to go and conquer things on so many frontiers, I think yeah. there must be a driving force or a sense of self-belief that carries you through. Tell me more about that. You're absolutely right. It's, it's, uh, it's self-belief. Mm. And it's not something that, that it's easily acquired. You know, um, you know, one person once said, uh, what the mind can conceive and believe, it is possible. Sure. You know, and I took that with me and, and, and that's what drives me. You know, I'm a creative. You know, uh, if anything pops in my head and I start believing it, then I, I go after it. You know, I think for me, one of the favorite things about God yeah. is that he himself is a creative. I mean, yeah. you look around you and you can see his yeah. abundance and his artistic work. Yeah. And so I feel that when we create, we're closest to God. Yeah. Is that something that, that runs through your life? You know, we were created in the image of God, yeah. you know, just to agree with that. You know, we're created in the image of God, which means that, you know, we, we are capable, mm. you know, and we shouldn't take that lightly. So I, I like what you just said, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, it, it brings us closer yeah, to God. you can God. have it for free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just quote me, quote yeah. me somewhere when you're receiving an award for one of your excellent mm. works. Hashtag, <laughs> yeah. But, but I think something else that, that is so evident about you is that you're not afraid to try and fail. I yeah. think as a people, we're so risk averse that you never step out into the unknown because you're worried what are people going to say? Yeah. Um, what if it doesn't work? Yeah. But the ability to say, I'm going to go there. I don't know if it will work. It yeah. might, it might not, but I'll try it. So where did that ability come from? My mother. Mm. Yeah, you know, um, my mom taught me something very interesting when I was a kid, you know, um, and well, she gave me a hiding. <laughs> to teach me that, <laughs> you know, and just to tell you the story, just it's a quick short story. Yeah, yeah. Um, my mom w was a housewife, you know, and uh, I came back from school and she wasn't at home and it was about to rain. And so it started raining. And I mean, you know, when she got back, um, she found me by the door and, you know, I'm shivering and it's raining. And I thought she was going to say, oh, my, my baby, baby oh, yeah. poor thing. Mm, no, she gave me a hiding and she said that you got to talk, you know, you got to express yourself. Why don't you go to the neighbors? Why don't you mm -hmm. knock and say my mom is not here? And so the lesson behind that was that the more you talk about your issues, mm -hmm. the less you give people to to talk about. You know, for instance, when you when you are HIV positive and you keep hiding it and you, yeah. you know, um, then you're giving people more to talk about. Yeah. But if you just come out and you say, I'm positive, mm. you know, then it, it will layer all the gossip and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. So that's what I learned is that you shouldn't be afraid to fail. Yeah. And if you fail in front of people, you know, um, you give them less to talk about because mm. then it was it was public. Mm. So that's why I, I have no fear of failure at all. Mm. Yeah. And I think the lesson your mom taught you was also to take initiative. Yeah. You know, don't sit there yeah. with a woe is me attitude. Oh, you know, it's yeah. raining. My mom's not yeah. here. I'm feeling sorry <laughs> for myself, no, etc. No, no. But to rather say, you know, OK, what do I do in this circumstance? Yeah. How can I change yeah. my fate and, 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 and my circumstances? And that's exactly how I've always been, yeah. you know. Um, for me, I always think solution and then cry later. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Yeah. If, if there's a tough situation that happens, if there's death, for me, it's about how do we sort this thing out now? How planning, 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 mm. then cry after. Mm. Because if you look at your life and your background and upbringing, there was lots that you could cry about. There was yeah. lots that you could just wallow yeah. in and, <clears throat> and just have this pity party over. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, you, you can't, you know, in psychology, they say lent helplessness. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a behavior that you learn. You learn how to be helpless. Mm. And the more you learn how to be helpless, then depression and all those other things just come into play. So for me, I'd rather be a happy person than depressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I, and, and for me, I think it's, 
it's a worldview, it's a philosophy, which yeah. I think we all have. You yeah. may not have a name for it, yeah. but we all have this thing that we believe about life, about people, about the situation and circumstances that we're in. It may or may not be linked to your spiritual beliefs and a yeah. deity, uh, but sometimes it is. If you were to say you, your worldview is dot, 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 what would that be? Take life as it comes, the good and the bad. Take it as it comes, yeah. you know, and embrace it uh, because it's part of life. You know, life has good, life has bad. Um, it's all just part of life. Yeah. Just take it as it comes. You know, they, there are people that, that live in poverty, but they're the most happiest people ever because they, they don't sit there and go, poverty is seen as something where you're supposed to be sad. And, mm. and But some people just look at it as we are living. Yeah. 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 And look, <laughs> for me, I think that's that's the differentiation between yeah. um, having money per se and, and, and having richness or wealth in, in terms of your outlook. Yeah. You know, because they may not have paper money, but they are far better off than those who do. Exactly. Because in their mindset, in their thinking, they've yeah. embraced, you know, the, 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 the joy Life. of being alive. Yeah, of they just being alive. alive. Yeah, of just being alive and, and, and just... And just having love. Mm. You know, there, there are things that, that money can buy, like mm. well, love, affection, mm. support, mm. you know. Um, and, and some people have focused on that instead of the material things, mm. you know. And that makes you rich yeah. as a person, yeah. you know, wealthy yeah. as a person, mm. more than buildings and, yeah. and, and all these other things that we're trying yeah. to acquire. Yeah. Even as you are in the process of acquiring those things, it starts yeah. from yeah. inside. <laughs> starts from they're inside. also important. Yeah. Let's yeah. not yeah. Yeah. Out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but coming back to, to that driving force, you yeah. know, what role does, does your belief play every day in the decisions that you make, in, in, in the choices that you take? Um, is it something that is God inspired? Yeah. Is it something that uh, requires, you know, your ancestral lineage where you say, my yeah. people are a people who are such and therefore yeah. I do such yeah. or my God says such. What is it for you? For me, it's God because mm. God is the creator of all. Mm. You know, God is the, you know, we always say the God of our ancestors. Yes. You know, um, and and for me, I always say that God is is me mm. you know god is we made in the image of god god is that person that will fight for me when i can't mm. you know um who will negotiate deals for me when i can't you know when i'm not even in that boardroom he goes ahead of you he goes ahead of me yeah. you know he's he's the one who holds my hand through oh, it you know um and and when i look at how my career has gone in the industry mm. for me i don't even know how it happened you know, um, but then that's, that just shows you the power yeah. of, 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 of God and that there is someone who's guiding me, um, you know, and who's leading the way. Mm. And I just follow in his footsteps. Yeah. Oh, and, and how does it manifest? So is it a, is it a church uh, belief? You know, you go to church, you come back, you have quiet time on your own. You spend time in prayer, in praise. How does it find manifestation? You, you know, before churches, <clears throat> yeah. there's, there's me. Yeah. You know, before my ancestors, there's me. Okay. Before everything else, there's, there's me mm. and God and our relationship. You know, um, I don't have to go to church to, to communicate with him, you know, or to, to, to connect with him. I don't have to um, go through my ancestors, you know, to connect with him. Um, but it's good for us to, to go to church because in that that just enriches your, your mm. spirituality. And it also just gives you a different perspective um, from, from, from just the life lessons, you know. Um, I, we, we, are, we are not just here, uh, you know, by ourselves. There's, there's other people and they have experiences. Mm. And we, we are meant to learn from their experiences, you know. And, and even with the preachings at church, it can give you a whole new different perspective which is what I like, you know, and, and my view on life. I, I like to see things from different perspectives and those mm. can be brought on by a sermon in church. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And is that something that you impart to your children? I mean, do you ever talk about faith, about belief as yeah. a family? We do, Yeah. we do, we do. Um, and, and also having to understand how, how all of it comes together mm. because there's, there's, a, there's this notion that, you know, um, uh, ancestors and God don't mix. Mm. 
and and so for me i try and get my kids to understand that properly before then they're influenced by by external factors where where if they go to a church that says ancestors are wrong or if ancestors says church is wrong mm. you know i i want them to understand how it all comes together how does it all come <clears throat> together they are all we are all god's people mm -hmm. and god is above everyone you know um and i think there's an issue in 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 english you know uh how we put things um when we say amadlozi uh, and when we say guiding angels, it sounds nice in English because it's guiding mm. angels, you know. It's sophisticated. Uh, yeah, it's sophisticated. Yeah. And and we and, and and sorry to say this, but us as black people, we've we've really found this, you know, uh, or we've taken it the wrong way, mm. you know. Um, there's also certain things, and there's you know where we confuse culture, and 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 tradition, you know. Um, culture is I can decide that every Sunday. At my house, we have lunch um, outside by the garden. That's culture. I, I'm creating a culture. Yeah. So a lot of people can take that and then now mix it with tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's, there's herbs like mm -hmm. you know, um, which, which are incense, you know, in, in how we connect, you know, um, with, with, with our, our ancestors and, and, and they connect to God. I, when I pray, I normally say, you know, mudimu utwa di tapelo, taba dimu baka, kabang kopele kile wana bon, you know, because I believe that they are at a higher level than where I am, you know. So God, hear the prayers of my ancestors. God, hear the prayers of my ancestors when they ask for whatever that I need, you know, uh, uh, in life. And that, for me, I see it as it's synergy. It goes together but we we have people that will condemn it or because of what they see people doing you know um for me to go in my and and ask for a job that's not tradition that's that's people getting things wrong you know um, um there's there's a way in how you do it and you need to understand it uh you know um but if you don't understand it then then you'll just be lost you'll go this way or go the other way mm. yeah so in your journey of understanding it, in your journey of learning and growing and continuing to tap into areas of your life yeah. that you have let, you have yet to, to unleash, yeah. what does the next five, ten years possibly have in store for you? I don't know. Yeah. But I know I want to put my name on something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, and hence I said, I'm a creative. You know, uh, when I set those 17 goals to achieve, um, I, I, I set them, you know, um, and, and I achieved them, you know. So for me is I follow my instinct mm. and my instinct is very much in touch with, you know, the, the path that God has, has already set for me. And that's why I say maybe I think, you know, it's, it's, it's me, but it's, it's God whispering in my ear, or this is your next move. And I just move. So I don't know. So we'll have to also must wait tell. and see. Lord, tell me. Zang, zang, zang. Yeah. <laughs> Send a signal. Signal, please. <laughs> Send a signal. When you get that yeah. signal, do yeah. let us know what's going on. Thank you so yeah. much for coming through. Thank I've you. enjoyed thank this you. discussion. And thank you ever so much for having joined us. We do it all over again next week. Bye for now.